we are at a exposure where we can see the trace fossils along with me today we i have my colleague bhavani singh desai actually this is a dislodged block which has come from the top where we have seen the trigonia beds also and bhavani is one of the ichnologists uh, internationally famed and in india there are only few ichnologists hello so he will explain this structure which is trace fossil okay welcome to this section this a very typical geometric pattern that you see from here here this few of them this is a part of a large burrow network which is known as thalassoid thalassoids are nothing but three dimensional burrow system so is it like paleodicton no paleodicton is very delicate and it occurs in a, at a deep sea this is of not that nature this is more robust more uh, thick uh, this one and what you have is a network and then you have this is a two dimensional thing and there are in number of locations you can see that third dimensional is also going so this is a huge network but what you can get are here along with this robust burrows you are also having very delicate burrow system here okay one is this then you are having this this now this suggest that there are two generations of trace fossils here one which is a robust kind first thing is uh, why they are known as trace fossils okay this are uh, traces of life traces not uh, the original fossil no it yeah. is not depicts the animal itself but it is the activity of animal that it leaves behind so habit and habitat habit and habitat right so what happens when the animal it disturb the sediment it will disturb in a typical way either it will form a burrow or crawl and then leave a mark on that so that if get preserved is a trace fossil okay now here you have two contradicting contradicting of trace fossils one is very robust kind and other is very delicate one right in ichnological term this we will call it as pre depositional trace okay and this will call it as post depositional trace now this pre depositional is in sense of the sandstone being deposited so this trace fossil were uh, originally there in the uh, soft sediment below this sandstone okay and when the sand came it eroded the top and get casted and uh, this um, sand got it it made a cast of this uh, um, it uh, leaves at a depth of nearly a meter or yes, yes. So something like that yes so these are typically 1 to 2 meter from uh, the surface from the surface from the sediment water no. interface so that if even if there is storm uh, yeah. it cannot disturb yeah, the disturb sediment it. yeah wonderful only in case of erosional activity very severe erosional activity in the top 1 1.5 meter of sediment is gone then only you could reach this okay so this sand when it was depositing it eroded the top and then it made a cast of this and this is of uh, upper jurassic age this is of yeah. upper jurassic this section but this section. Uh, uh, are these uh, occurring now also yeah so uh, these are thalassoids they are typically made by um, animals which are known as uh, decapods or crustaceans okay crustacean it started appearing crustaceans the prawn also belong to the yes, yes, crustacean yes. i believe so they st typically started from in mesozoic onwards okay okay so that is there this delicate one is not made by crabs but it made by uh, thin worms okay. okay 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 and this was deposited after the sand was there so the worm it burrowed for the food Mm -hmm. Okay, after the deposition of this sand, uh, I believe uh, these thalassinoids had a tremendous sense of geometry. Uh, if you look at this, they look like some hexagonal uh, pattern. Yes, this this is actually branching. Right now, if you take a worm, if it is going from here, mm. it requires some space to turn around. Right, these are known as turn turn around places. Okay, and they. are typically larger than the burrow diameter ah. so that it helps in the worm to turn right so here these are our joints which are slightly enlarged okay good 
so uh, this was built in upper, upper jurassic. jurassic yes right. this is a typical shore face environment of upper jurassic so if you have this kind of uh, say sandstones so if that kind of sandstone acts as reservoir rock mm. so i believe the porosity permeability those also will be modified yes they also get modified because once you have this burrow they will either enhance the porosity yeah because the material it contain may be coarser than this or well uh -huh. sorted than yeah, the yeah. host rock okay so it helps in uh, creating certain flow channels oh great thank you bhavani thank Welcome. you very much